Hey everyone, Six String Supplies. Welcome or welcome back to part two of our one volume, one tone, three way toggle switch wiring tutorial. In our last video, we covered a simple one volume, one tone, three way toggle switch setup for a dual humbucker guitar. We essentially use a PRS style template, but the circuit can be replicated for any guitar that's using the same setup. In this video, we are demonstrating adding a push pull pot as a tone control, which acts as a master coil split. As it is again in a PRS style template, we will explore the PRS partial coil split using resistors. Everything is pretty much identical, the layout's exactly the same. I won't go through each component showing you how to wire everything. If you missed the last video, hit the link on the screen now to go back and watch it, otherwise none of this will make much sense to you at all. Our switch is wired exactly the same way and is grounded to the sides of the tone control here. I've ran the braid around the volume pots and into the input log of the volume control here. Again, using 50s wiring, so the tone capacitor is going from the middle lug of the volume control to, to the bottom lug here on the tone control. And we have ran the output to the jack socket. Uh, as previous, it's connected from the uh, output again, the middle of the volume control, grounded it to the side of the pot casing, and it's running out to the jack. So everything is essentially the same. Obviously, there's one major difference and another one which I'll point out as well. Because things can get a little bit crowded around the tone control and these fairly bulky CTS push pull pots, I've grounded the lugs of the volume and the tone control using tinned copper here, so as you can see, rather than bending the lugs back and soldering into place, I've used a length of tinned copper, connecting them all the way together. So this is now connected to the ground via this connection here. And obviously the Main difference, which is visible to everyone, is the tone control is now a push pull pot. So here's a close up of the tone push pull pot. I'm just going to give you a very quick overview of what has gone on here. So the PRS style partial coil split uses two different resistors to, to send the signal to ground rather than a, a direct route to ground. And what this does is it's, uh, well, it's a partial split, so it retains some of the signal, uh, which often offers a lot more balance with your single coil and humbucker tones. So on one side for the neck pickup, uh, these are CTS push pull pots obviously, so hole C2, which is this one in the bottom left hand corner. We've got a 1.1K resistor, so one end of it has gone into the hole there, and the other end has been soldered to ground, which in this case is the side of the pot casing. And on the opposite side, in hole C1, which is bottom right hand corner, as you can see there, we have a 2.2K resistor, and this is for the bridge pickup. To connect your pickups, it's relatively straightforward. So in this example, I'm using four conductor humbuckers. So just like we did in the previous video, the hot output from each humbucker goes to the toggle switch. So this is gonna be your north start. So for the neck humbucker, it's going to this solder lug here on the switch, and for the bridge, it's going to the one on the other side, just there. That's your north start of each respective humbucker. Now for the coil splitting. So for coil splitting, you need to take the north finish and south finish wires of each humbucker, twist them together and solder them together. So for your neck pickup, the north finish and south finish are gonna be soldered into hole three just there on the CTS push pull pot. And for the bridge pickup, again, north finish, south finish, these are gonna be soldered into hole one together. So just to explain how this works, if you refer to the graphic on your screen, and I'll also put a link to a previous video where we discussed how these push pull pots work in a lot more detail. Basically, when the push pull is in the down position, C2, which is our route to ground via the resistor, is connected to hole 4, which obviously has nothing connected to it, so, so nothing happens. But when we engage the push pull and it's in the up position, C2 and C1, which are the common lugs, are then 
connected to holes three and one just below it. So when it's in the up position three, which is where we have our north finish and south finish of the neck pickup, for example, is connected to C2, which is our resistor. Here we go, it's our route to ground. So that's how the partial split works. And it's exactly the same on the bridge position. When the push pull is up, the common lug, which is the resistor there on the other side, just in there, that becomes active with the north finish and the south finish and it gets partially shorted to ground. So there you have it. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you real soon in a future video.